Hello everyone and welcome back to Give Me Toy Time P No Amai. Today we have a new Holland Modding React Slash Reviews and today we have a Bear Sweet episode and we are reviewing Lancey Boy's last mod, his final mod I will ever make. Now this map has had a lot of drama around it. This is of course American Falls by Lancey Boy. Uh, it had negative, re uh, it was released back in July, it had negative reactions. Uh, so Lancey Boy uh, dropped it. This is the final version, the all platform version. And he released it today. And this is what he claimed to be, what he says is going to probably be his last mod he ever creates. The community just turned against him, and this is just a tribute to Lancey Boy. Lancey Boy, you've given us great mods and countless hours of play. And thank you for, even though you want to quit, thank you for finishing out this map. Thank you for just sticking in, finishing this map. Until all of your projects were done. It's greatly appreciated, brother. Brother to brother, thank you for all your work. So today we're going to review the map. We're going to go deep down into it. We're going to see uh, just how the map looks. Map reviews. I will say the map looks very nice. This is a non-state look. Pretty much any state. I will say there is mountains in the background. So this is maybe a bit more. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. This could be anywhere. This could be uh, in Virginia, Minnesota, Wyoming. You know, who cares? He, he did say a lot of this map was based around stuff you saw in Idaho. So this is more of like an Idaho-focused map. But at the end of the day, there's no state like uh, Stone Valley, Illinois was. Directly modeled after San Jose and Illinois. So he gives us descriptions. Let's go through it. Welcome to American Falls. You have a big job to do on this map. The previous owner here once had a farm in Illinois called Stone Valley. He came here looking for work, and American Falls needed a farmer. So he was given a chance, and he did a fantastic job running the area. Local residents helped him out where they could, and the business and the businesses loved to work with him. Then all suddenly, he was gone. He had sold all the equipment that belonged to the American Falls community, and all the land was along with it. Luckily, he didn't sell the, the trailer he where he once lived. American Falls community has been informed that you took over Stone Valley as well, managed that, managing to get that farm in tip-top shape. And your help is needed again. The reason you've been brought here is because American Falls needs a great farmer like you. A former trader is a little money in the pot, just enough to get you going. There's no equipment to spare, so you'll have to do local contracts to slowly regain the trust of the community. Use your earnings to buy new farm equipment and eventually buy the land back. Are you up to the challenge? challenge? Can you regain the trust of American Falls? And finally, one final note, and this is from Lancey Boy. Thank you to my true followers who supported me over the years and stood by me. And this will be my final map for FS22. No more mods and maps will be made by myself. All fields are fictional. Don't sell animal farms. Start off with shop gate. The start up the shop gates will open until 9 a.m., but will close as normal after, which the hours will be 18. 18 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mud system op optional. That's for PC only. Fields flood. That's nice. Riverbanks flood. Uh, road road cat eyes. Uh, now stay on your side of the road. Four times new custom crops. And this is going to be alfalfa, rye, flax, and clover. 40 mani, eerie ivory mine, custom soil textures. Now well made corn maize crops by Benji Upset. Benji FS, which let me say the corn crops are just amazing on this map. Uh, soybeans are in rows. Start from scratch in farm manager mode added. Cows can produce manure. Kids can, pigs can produce manure. 12 custom farm place full added. 8 selling points. 1 bale storage sell point. 1 log sell point. Alfalfa salvage plants added. Auction Dave's custom rewrite. Pitbull field added. Brand new designs models. Ball by Lanceable himself. AI helper added. 50 fields. 4 forestry areas. 2 productions added. Seasonal visual collectibles, all lands are purchased before using the animal in farm areas. And you will need two mods for this map. And that is the American Fermenting Silo by Vertex Design, which is a really nicely done mod. And then Pick a Petter Pack by Lancy Boy. By, sorry, by BC Beaver. Because uh, swapping is integrating this map because we have black. Alright, let's get into it and what's the review? And my god, look at how big this... Uh, this map is. Uh, you have a lot of small, you have small fields, like fields free. You have large fields, like fields one. You have a lot of size fields, which I really, you have custom crops, which are going to be, 
flax is purple. Uh, rye is cream. Alfalfa is bright. Um, we set up any grass seeds. They're already planted. Uh, you have two animal farms and three grain farms, I believe. Um, so yeah, let's go for the tour. You do start off with all the production areas, and you sell that for a total value of zero dollars. Buy that back on. Uh, I will like say that I do like how Lance Boy did the field on this map because you have a lot of the drainage dishes, ditches set up in the mat, uh, field, and as well as the fields follow the landscape, which is one of the major things I do care about fields because that is realistic. Um, so yeah, here we are. We start off at our little trailer here and our little trailer park area, and we get a truck to start off with. That is it. You have a truck. 1986 beat up Chevy. Uh, I will like to say this whole area is done nicely. Uh, we can take a look at those horn textures. See, just look how nicely done those are. So, uh, let's take a look at the map real quick. 50 fields. Um, let's look at each farm. Um, and there's Pick Up Header Pack by BC Beerer, and then. Let's look at the models we put. So, a couple sheds. We have American Marn. Here it is. And these do have colors on it. That's nice. This map is just known for its green shed. So, we look at that. Uh, slope roof. And this is non color changeable. And this is a white barn. Bale barn. Again, basic white. Uh, vehicle shell. Color changeable. Uh, this is another shed. Color changeable as well. A large door barn. Uh, this is car changeable as well. The barn, I absolutely love this model. Uh, and it's a two side barn. Car changeable as well. Old woody barn. Uh, non car car changeable. Large bale barn. Non car changeable. Open air shag. Car changeable. And silos. We, uh, America Falls. We do get, uh, this custom silo. And then we get the, um, AGI pack silo which is a free dlc so if you want dlc yeah it's free um and we have the fermenting silo pack of course uh let me keep going through see if there's anything custom um large barn barn garage and this is a workshop of course color changeable as well um no custom sleep triggers let me see if there's any custom production yeah seed production Custom greenhouse, custom generators. Uh, it doesn't appear like we get any custom animals. Let me just check see if we gain custom fences. Probably not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, textures. We get uh, additional gravel textures. I don't know where he said people feel. He said people feel about it. Um, no additional tree. Oh, there they are. Plant pool, uh, fields are in the plant. And that's all we get. And then we have field create. And you have double tillage, cloud, cultivated, and then cultivated cloud, uh, cloud, double tillage, and then rigid. Okie dokie. Let's do the flyover now. Um, again, we have five farms. Um, five farms only uh, $97,000 up here. So let's move up to this one. And I believe this is going to be the large farm on that. So here we go. Uh, let me hop into the truck. Um, hey, this is I'm going to change up my map here. I'm actually going to do a drive around to go to the farm. And then we'll do a uh, uh, flyover right here. So it's going to be a bit longer for my video, but you'll get a more in-depth tour. Uh, so here we are at the first farm to pop out. Uh, so we get a barn. You have to own the land to open it. So let me buy this real quick. It's nine to seven dollars. But this, uh, after you do a lot of work, this is going to be your starting. This is possibly be your starting farm. Plus, it is cheap for what you get on it. So we have the, two of these large barns. A large trigger, a uh, diesel trigger. I like how this shed looks. 
No, you only get one of those large barns, right? Yeah, I believe this is a workshop, actually. Yeah, it is. Your entrance is on this side. Uh, I believe this is the work trigger in here. So at the end of the day, very nice models. You have to once you buy one, you have to sell everything you have on it. So do 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 that's interesting. I can't do money cheap, so you have to bear with me. Uh let me hop back in the truck real quick. That is the first farm right here, and next farm is gonna be So you have to head up this road. Uh, down here, and then this is the sheep farm, I believe. So let's do that. So that fence is on the side of the road. Uh, the corn captures, uh, we'll go with the soybeans in a second. See if we have the soybeans here on the way. But, um, you know, they have a couple houses which I really do like. I like how this map gives a sense of this is more like a windy rural America area. And that you have uh, people living here, it's not completely desolate. That's one thing about Stone Valley Real Estate, we did have the town area, but it did kind of have a sense of desolation. Uh, greenhouse area, you can buy that greenhouse area. Um, there's cat eyes on the road, that's why you talk about the cat eyes. Um, uh, gas station's here. Uh, let me see. The entry or into the rear, right side of gas station. So, I missed the entrance. Probably oh, we can cut real quick. So over here we have a sheep farm. Um, large bale barn here. A couple of barns, silos, plants. Large rooftop hall. Uh, here's the sheep barn and it's completely custom. I do like how the sheep barn looks. Ooh, that's really cool to see. That's fun. Um, so yeah, that's the sheep farm. A couple sheds. You have your house right there. Um, not exactly my favorite style farm. It, it does seem a bit more, it does seem it has like a European influence on it. But at the end of the day, it still is a nice looking farm. Uh, let's get back into here. Our next farm will be down the road just a little bit right here. So we are currently right here. This is the sheep farm. Next farm down here, and that's going to be our old grain farm. I absolutely have to look at this farm. You will understand why when you see it. So let's cut back through the bushes, tree lines here, get back on the main road. I absolutely love these little drainage areas. Uh, again, like you have a small field, but you have a large field. Perfect balance. I just ran a stop sign, got a stud So here we are at the one out, three out of five. I think there's five on um, so this is the shed, there's an interior on this. Large bale barn. Uh, we have that other bale barn. And we have this uh, smaller barn. Then we have a house as well. I like the design of this car. It gives, uh, oh, hmm. I'm sorry, tired. Um, it gives off like that older American style Midwestern uh, farm. So let's get back on the main road. Um, I'm not seeing any uh fields yet. Oh, thank you, Michael. Again, a lot of ditches, which is nice. Uh, so we're reaching the mid intersection of the town, and there's a, little, uh, a lot of cell phones are going to be on the northern part of the map. I No, southern part of the map. So down that way is just more fields, so we'll go down this road. We have this little off-site farm area. So if you're interested in that, there has a style and a shed. I want to see how cheap how cheap this farm is. Oh God, $209,000. dollars. As this farm is like nine thousand. Um, but you get trees with this. So yeah, pricing interesting. Um, but you have a green cell point there. We'll go over cell points in a second. God, the core texture is so good. 
nice walkway, that's nice. And here's the other part of the city of America Falls. There is a dealership. Of course, dealership has open and closing hours, so it'll be 9. Yeah, I'll see time up real quick so you can see that. See? But then after the first time loading into this map, your time will be set to 8 to 4 p.m. for uh, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. for the closing time. Anyway, we have the town of America Falls here. I love the railroad setup. Like how I have a have those train cars sitting off on the sitting off on the side. Uh, now this is where a lot of the grain and production facilities are. Down that road is just more fields. In this area of the map, it just feels so packed with the western. We have two gas stations on this map, and anhydrous. See the anhydrous over there? And I believe anhydrous is worked in with all base game sprayers. We should have put in a sprayer mod. No, it's not. Uh, anhydrous on this map? Hold on. No, it's not. I guess you had to remove anhydrous. That's a bummer, but, um, yeah, there's still anhydrous looking paint on this map. What's the size of it? Yeah, the corn texture looks so nice. There's gross sage corn. You know, it's in a road. Very nicely designed. Uh, ooh, there's soybean field in the background. I'll just see if we can go there. Um, what we're going to do next farm, this is going to be our cattle farm. And this may be the largest farm on the map. Definitely the most well designed farm on the map. Um, let's go up in here. Party. I do want to buy the cattle farm. Give me a second. I'll put this in there. We're back. I bought the cattle farm. Uh, let me see what we have on it. So we have the cattle barn over here. So let's take a look at it. So over here we have our fermenting silo, decoration silo. Uh, there's the AGI bin. We have a shed here, slurry pit. What's oh, the Valmetal uh, story spider coming from? Uh, boo boo what his name? That's the modding. That'll be a very nice feature. Here's our milking parlor. The cattle barn. Cattle barn I absolutely love. Uh, Lancy Boys work on this cattle barn. Um, you have to open up these gates to get to, to get through this entrance. Because what this serves as is a walkway. The cows get from this pasture to the other pasture. Which is really nice. Um, you know, there's a lot of American farms that you'll see, especially like a dairy farm like this, having that. Uh, we have a little barn area here. This looks like it'd be more like a capping barn, but we don't have cows on this map. Um, we have an our shed barn. I like the American flag right there, actually. Uh, silage plants back there, so a lot of silage room on this map. Um, that barn, we had one of those on the large farm that we visited earlier. This is the half, in, uh, half enclosed shed, which is based off of real shed you saw in Michigan. So that is nice if anyone's curious about that. Let me go into flyover mode real quick so we can get the real depth of this farm. Um, so yeah, just like that. And when you buy this property, you get the field behind as well, which is a good size field. You we'll probably put some alfalfa in that. Uh, and talk about soybeans, there you go, soybeans are in the road, which is nice. And the reason why I take this is in Idaho, one, because he told me, and two, very mount it's very rocky, it's very hilly and rocky, which is very Idaho-esque. I don't know, I've never been to Idaho, this seems like something that would be like a mountain map. This seems like somewhere in the mountain. Anyway, that is the cattle farm. <laughs> can't sell it, but we have one more farm to go to, and that is the, do, 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 do. that is the pig farm. The pig farm just up the road, the bear with me, uh, pull out. Head down this road, and then check in here, and then this road. You know, multiple entrances, entrances to the cattle farm. Up ahead, and over here is the pig farm. So we enter in, and we have our house up here. So I'll pull the car into the driveway right there. Um, 
So yeah, let's walk down real quick. And one thing I will say is there's sugar cane growing in this field. Uh, so here we have the pig barn. Uh, just simple, just simple quantum hut. Uh, gives you some like canosta vibes. If you guys know what I'm talking about, that canosta is chicken pen. But um, it's all pinned in. There's your entrance into the pig pen. Um, you have a root, a root crop storage shed right there. A storage shed here. Not a storage shed there. Failed storage. A furnace in silo. That's a heavy thing to do with a furnace in silo. A couple little pig huts out, out here like this one right here. Look at how nicely done that pig hut is. That's a very nicely well done pig hut. Um, and then also, let me see if you buy this. Also off with this is a barn that you can't use but is decoration. You can sell it, it appears. Um, but it's a nice little decoration. It shows like maybe the farm's expanding. So yeah, that is American Falls by Lampy Boy. And this is of course going to be his final map he does. Does do, does do, uh, I don't know the difference anymore. That he will create. Um, now we're just going to do some flyover. Uh, very loose commentary on the simple flyover. But yeah, enjoy the flyover. So we're currently starting at the pig farm. Custom torn textures by Benji FS. Soybeans are in rows. Starting point. Train. Production locations back over here. Viewership <laughs> located right here. Field down in this direction, including a rear entrance into this car. And this will also take you to my little back field. The American Falls by Lancy Boy, and, the, and again, this cannot be said enough. This is Lancy Boy's final mod he will ever make. Uh, he did an incredible job on this map. I give it a nine out of ten. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend giving this a download, especially if you want more of that like medium type of American fall farming—not large, not small, but to have that perfect mix. 
especially with challenging fields and challenging circumstances. So I hope you guys enjoyed that map tour today. Uh, remember, if you want to support me, subscribe, give me a like, visit my Instagram. It's in the description. Um, share this video with people that you want to see if you want them to see this. And yeah, uh, that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, this is American DS5 Farmer, New Home Modding, Gaming 5 D. Cutting out. Peace.